Not, not that we're here, and, and not that you're here, but it's part of a bigger thing, okay? Because we get trapped in this world by so many things. And just like that song right there, don't let him get you. It's so easy. It's so easy. I fight it every day. I walk, and I keep saying in the back of my mind, don't let him get you. I had an amazing talk with one of my friends walking in here, and we were talking about sin. You know, God, he doesn't judge us. There's not a grave on okay? No sin is any different than any sin. But you know what covers us all? The blood of Jesus. You know, that grace that he's shown down on us. You know, that he loved us so much that he gave up his own son. I have two sons. You know how hard that would be? Do you know how hard that would be for somebody that can just blow stars and make galaxies to give up something that means so much to us? Tonight, if you don't know who that is, he's a wonderful God. In my life, in my testimony, I know the power of a prayer. I know what happened when we said that prayer. Because I had to open my eyes. God moves. And let Him move in your life. So just real quiet. With every eye closed, every head bowed. If you don't know who that Savior is, He will take you for whoever you are. Because you know what? God made a perfect creation. Every one of us is a molded, perfect creation. Sin traps us to this world. Sin puts us in a corner where we feel all by ourselves. We're not. He said He would never leave us. He would never forsake us. Just as the disciples did when Jesus walked by and they were minding their own business on that boat fishing away. He told them to change. Come with me and be fishers of men. If God is talking to you tonight in the power of His grace, just ask you to give your life to Him. Whatever it is, whether it's drugs, whether it's sex, there are their habits, there's, there's lying, there's, there's so many things that the good old devil just wants to get us, but don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. There's a young girl tonight at UAB who was beaten by her boyfriend. She's clinging to her life right now. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not guaranteed we're going to walk out this door. And that's not to scare you. That's the real truth. Because the one thing God said, He's going to send His Son back for us. Okay? And for those who believe, we have a home. He's prepared that with the blood of Jesus Christ. So I ask you with your eyes closed, if you want to come up front, if you want to stay in your seat, Please pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I am no different than anybody in this room, Lord. We're all sinners. Lord, but the one thing I'm missing is accepting your Son into my heart, Lord, to change me, to make the old things old, and to create a new beginning. Lord, I believe that you sent your son to this earth and he died and he rose again to forgive me of my, my sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer, it's awesome. There's nothing like it, man. There's nothing ashamed of being a cool Christian. You know, this, this world will trap us, it will chain us down. Give it to him. Give it to him. You might have to walk a different walk. You might look different than somebody else. But you know what? You're walking in grace. All right? God bless you.